Shin pain is probably one of the most commonly misdiagnosed pains in running. You could have one of three things that would give you shin pain. One is shin splints, two is medial tibial stress syndrome, and three is compartment syndrome. All three will give you localized pain on the inner aspect of the shin. What are the symptoms of shin pain? Generally, you'll get a very sharp searing pain in the medial or inner aspect of your shin. Okay. It's not uncommon to find there be some little inflammation in that area. The pain can radiate up towards the knee or down towards the inner aspect of the foot. Another reason that you know you've got a significant injury is when you find that you have that pain being produced on every single step. Shin pain comes about from two particular reasons. One is you've increased your training mileage or training intensity over a shortened period of time. The second and more important reason is that you're using shoes that have probably lost their natural shock absorption. It's extremely important to constantly change your shoes. Every six months or every 400 to 600 kilometers, get those shoes changed because the natural shock absorptions have been worn out. One more reason that's very common is biomechanics. Biomechanics is the pattern in which you run. Generally, you're an excessive pronator and that's putting stress on the inner aspect of that knee. Pronation means that the foot is falling in before it strikes the ground, which is putting stress on the inner aspect of the knee. So how bad can shin pain get? Generally, when you start and you've increased your training mileage, there's a good chance you have compartment syndrome. Compartment syndrome can be treated very easily. But if you continue to run on it, there's a good chance you progress to shin splints. Shin splints is splintering of that bone, where the bone gets extremely weak. If you decide to persist on your running without adequate treatment, you will get a stress fracture of that injury. That is generally how shin splints will progress from what is compartment syndrome to a complete stress fracture of the injury. A stress fracture of the injury will mean that you will need to take complete rest for between 8 to 12 weeks. So, what are some of the best ways to treat shin pain? Okay. Generally, because it is a chronic injury, you're going to have to rest. It's an injury that was built up over a prolonged period of time, so rest is probably your best answer. If you can't rest, then seeing a physiotherapist is your next best thing. Okay. Tapering your load and getting physiotherapy along with icing and stretching will erad eradicate 90% of your symptoms. Almost all shin pain can be treated conservatively. In at least 95% of the cases, physiotherapy, strengthening, and stretching will get rid of the symptoms.